Yo guys, welcome back to another video here at Trader Journey. I'm hoping you guys will take something, um, some value from this video. Today I'll be discussing what confirmations and what do you need to look for before entering a trade. So I've made you guys a, what's, well, this is basically part of the course which I offer, but I've taken some of that information and hopefully going to give this to you guys, some of the information from that course into this video. So I'm going to cover off the key areas which you guys want to be looking for when before entering the trade essentially it's, it's called your confirmation to enter the trade so i'll be going through those details now just before i get into the video if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave me a like as it does help the channel out so let's get straight into this video so the first thing i'd look for is price levels guys price levels are key to understanding when to exit and when to enter a trade um, you set support levels, you set resistance levels, and you set those key price levels so you know as soon as a price breaks through a certain key price level, you know to enter the trade or exit a trade. Um, so it's, it's very key that you have your charting prepared, ready for you to trade a particular stock. Um, what you need to understand as well is that there's different types of price levels. You've got strong and weak price levels. Weak price levels is where you see the price moving between quite frequently um, without any sort of tr strong rejection of that price level. The strong price levels are where you've seen huge rejection and a rebound to a, a new all-time high, for instance, or an all-time low. And strong price levels are are something you need to pay attention more to rather than your weak price level so you need to understand the difference second up guys is volume now you do see me bring this up on all my previous videos i do look for volume as one of the key confirmations to enter a trade you need to see that there's if you're if you're shorting your stock or longing your stock you need to ensure there's either buying or selling pressure before entering you need sufficient volume before entering the trade to push the price up and that is the only way you'll capture the move of the stock um, what you should also need to do you need to ensure that there's higher than average volume levels to ensure the stock price will move so you can see that for instance on trading view if the volume is is average or below average you you want to stay away from that that particular move or trading plan because you want sufficient volume to increase the momentum and force the stock to move in the price direction which you are expecting so without any of those you will it is unlikely that the stock will move as fast in the direction you're expecting so i would stay away from trades that have low or average volume one of the other things to watch out that uh, is consistent with volume is also momentum. There are specific indicators out there that allow you to sort of understand the, moment, the momentum of a stock. So you need to ensure that that correlates with what you're expecting with the volume. If volume spikes above average and that is aligned with the momentum, then you are off to a good start before entering a trade. Thirdly guys is the pattern breakout. So again, you guys have seen on my previous videos, I like to trade pattern breakouts. They come in the form of triangles, bull flags, bear flags, upward, downward trends. You've got head and shoulder patterns, etc. So there's so many different patterns you can look out for, which is easily an easy way of trading. But um, this is just for additional confirmation in, in addition to price levels and volume as previously mentioned. So make sure you check out pattern breakouts as well look out for patterns make sure you draw those patterns so you can understand what's happening with the stock and play those bigger breakouts so that's definitely key next up guys is a catalyst so this isn't mandatory for trading however it does help push the push the stock in either direction um, so you want to look out for market news COVID-19 vaccine news is currently quite relevant so particularly in the US and Europe so for vaccine news that will definitely um, increase the market sentiment of whether it's going to be bullish and if there's some bad news it does tend to affect the market but I wouldn't rely solely on a catalyst such as the news to affect your trading it's something to look out for such as um, quarterly quarterly earnings reports annual earnings reports from companies so if you're looking to play earnings I don't play earnings because I, I think they're a bit more risky um, but it's something to watch out for because you don't really want to be playing a stock if its earnings are coming out soon and you're not aware of that so you want to keep um, keep posted with companies that you regularly trade and when their earnings will be coming out so that that kind of goes goes in hand with any news directly affecting a stock you're looking to trade one of the other things that's 
particularly relevant in the US at the moment is Fed stimulus. So if they're releasing any more cash, if they're printing more money, that generally allows people to have more cash and to spend more. So that should create a bullish sentiment in the market. But I wouldn't rely solely, as I say, on the news because everybody sees the news and it will just it, it's not I'll create another video on it, but it's not the only thing you should rely on when trading. Next up, guys, is the overall market sentiment. It's kind of a follow up from the previous um, slide, which is talking about the news. You do want to check SPY, NASDAQ and all the big ETFs before entering any trades, as it does give you an overall overall market direction of what to expect in the trade days to come, um, especially on Sundays, Mondays, Fridays. You want to see how things are ending and how things are beginning for the week ahead. Um, what I usually do is check pre-market levels and after hours tradings um, and that gives you a good understanding of what's going to happen in the next trading day. Um, pre-market levels are very good for trading the first half an hour to first hour of the market open. So it, under, it helps you understand which direction the stock is likely to move. Are there more buyers? Are there more sellers? So it's, it's key to set those pre-market levels, price levels, so you can capture those moves straight when as soon as the market opens. It does tend to help quite a lot. Um, and next up, guys, again, the news, which follows up from the previous slide is, is there any news that supports market direction? Has there been any announcements? Have there been any press press release talks? Um, has, has the president spoken? These types of things will regularly affect the market. One thing I haven't written on here, guys, is when Trump was um, in office, he would obviously tweet a lot and his tweets had a massive, massive effect on the market. Um, whenever there was any announcements that he would um, tweet about, it would have a direct effect on the market. So Twitter in its on its own is actually having um, a lot of people look at Twitter for any news and Twitter is becoming one of those catalysts in the market. So it's one to look out for and it's good to follow, I guess, these key heads in the world, in the globe for market direction and market sentiment. It does really help. So there's some great pages to follow on Twitter and Instagram. So I'll try and leave some links to that in the description box below. Next guys is buyers and sellers. Again, a pretty much a slight follow up from the previous slide, but I do want to check that some of you are aware of this. If not, leave it in the comment section below and I'll make another video on it. But you need to be checking level two, if you're, especially if you're scalping and making these quick trades, in and out trades, you want to be keeping an eye on level two to see the volume of buyers and sellers coming in at different price levels, how many contracts are being set, etc. Um, you want to see the quantity and size of buyers and sellers in order for you and that that just falls in line with volume and momentum so if you're seeing a wave of buyers coming in that is only going to push the price up and it's something to watch out for but if you're seeing huge amounts of the odd sellers it's one to be watchful for because you could expect a price to reverse at certain price levels so that is very key to watch out for and again it should always correlate with volume and momentum buyers and sellers should correlate with momentum and volume so all of these things combined will ensure that you are set up for high probability trades only and you're not wasting money on um, weak contracts that are not going to shift in either direction so this is all key for anyone trying to be successful in entering trades and exiting trades these are the key areas which you need to be looking forward to so that really covers off co covers off the the video i was expecting to make today guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video is a lot of there's a lot of um value in this video today for any beginners and if you combine all of these factors for confirmation before entering a trade there's no doubt you will have a much higher higher rate of success when you are trading so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any comments or suggestions leave that in the comment section below before i go make sure you hit the subscribe button if you got any value from this video today drop me a like as it does help me out and i will catch you all on the next video thanks so much for watching take care goodbye